What is going on guys and today I'll be talking about how Instagram influencers can scam you. Before I get into all that I'd appreciate if you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you guys haven't because that'll help my channel grow. Because there's a lot of new dropshippers out there that are just looking for information and I'm, I'm your boy. I know there's a lot of people that are new to dropshipping and you know Instagram influencers you know you really can't tell who's real or who's fake. And there's a lot of influencer pages or influencers that are scamming people out of their money because once they get their money, they block them and they don't even post their, you know, posts. Or they have fake followers and you, you know, you pay for a post and they post it and you get like zero traffic or you expected, you know, at least some traffic and you get nothing. Odds are you probably did get scammed because that's obviously a fake page. It's just terrible what these people are doing. They pretty much prey on people like you guys because there's a lot of you know new people out that have no idea, no idea how to check if they're legit followers or if like you know their engagement is right. Always use PayPal goods and services because if you get scammed or if they don't you know post it or you know they block you or something, you can always get your money back with PayPal by using you know, goods and services because PayPal always usually sides, you know, with the customer and you are safe with that. So I always recommend to just use PayPal for shout outs because you can always get your money back. Do not use PayPal family and friends because if they're telling you that and you do it, you will not get your money back. They can block you and that's that's pretty much game over for your money. Like I said earlier, there's potential that they have fake numbers, you know, fake followers, fake likes, fake comments. So always check their numbers in the beginning, you know, tell them to screenshot you some analytics or you can go on socialblade.com and check their engagement and then check their followers. If like there's a huge spike in like a day or something, that means they probably bought followers. You know, you want to see, you want to see their analytics or you want to see like their data steady because if you see a huge spike on one day and then it's completely dead on the next day, that means they obviously bought followers. So just please watch out for that. Scroll through the likes and comments and see if like the profiles that are actually commenting have like, you know, profile pictures and like they're actually look legit. And also when talking to an Instagram influencer in the DMs, if it's too good to be true, it probably is and they're just going to take your money. But I mean, that's all up to you if you want to try them or not. And the best way to get an Instagram influencer or a theme page to reply to you is to email them. Usually they'll have an e email in the bio that you can email them and like you can talk to them through there. So I honestly recommend you emailing them, but you can also DM them. But odds are they get messages every single day and you know, your, your message will probably get lost. So my advice for you guys is just to email them and let them know, you know, what are the prices. So actually a story I have actually in the beginning, I was looking for an Instagram influencer. I DM'd this one theme page. It was like some Bitcoin theme page and I messaged them how much their rates were and whatnot. And they seemed pretty reasonable. So, you know, I paid them. And then right after I actually like paid them, another random Bitcoin, um, theme page messaged me and asked if they if I wanted a promo. So that was kind of fishy and I was like, uh, this is probably the same owner trying to get more money out of me. So I waited for the first promo that I paid for for the first theme page and that theme page literally scammed me. Like I got like 20 people on my site when they had over like 300K followers, I was like so pissed and thank God that I didn't pay the other theme page that was just trying to get my money because I would have been out like 60 bucks. So yeah, that's my experience. So just look out for that because you know, if a theme page, if you're talking to a theme page and all of a sudden, you know, another theme page gets in your DMs, it's probably a scam and it just seems super fishy. But I hope that helped you guys from not getting scammed because it's not cool getting scammed and these scammers suck because you don't want to be out of your money and all they want is your money. So, you know, they're praying for the new guys and the new drop shippers. So I hope this video helped and I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.